Hello Scorpio, welcome to your mid-May general reading. Hello, my name is Amber, I'm with Lives in Sync Tarot. And remember this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Check your moon, rising, or Venus signs. But if you want a personal reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Link's in the description box below, or you can go to the website right up above there. And I will be more than happy to help you out. Also in the description box, we have links for giveaways. I do them once a month and other useful information that will be on Instagram or Facebook. Or you can get these readings super early on Patreon. Okay, so Scorpio, we have for you Empty Well, interesting, Fervor Gate, and Horn Cactus. Okay, Scorpio, it's time for you to fill up your well. I feel like you've been going through a lot of things, um, trying to be caring and kind or um, light in a situation. You don't want to add any heaviness to it with with the empty well. Um, you know, and it's time for you to have a. It's time for you to succeed. Also, I'm getting a story of someone. Oh, I just, I just lost it. I just lost it. Yeah, so I feel like you've given a lot to a situation, okay? It's almost like you're um, keeping the reins on a bull that's trying to get out of a cage, okay? Some situation in your life. And you're putting so much effort into it that I feel, I feel like you're forgetting why you started this or why it was important it's becoming a task and not a desire or an enjoyment or a, a you know something that drives you okay anywho <laughs> so i feel like this idea that's come into your mind or this sense of change is trying to open a door for you you know this is like take a step forward do something that's out of your wheelhouse um, it could be that someone, I don't know why I'm getting this, someone is asking you to do something. It could be that. And you may be hesitant and it's a it's a good step for you to take forward. I feel like this next step that you're going to take, Scorpio, is a heavy one, okay? And it feels like it's a lot of responsibility, okay? But, but you're moving forward because... You're like, I can do this. I know what my goals are. I know what it is that I want. Okay. I also feel like there is some magic in this struggle that you're going through. Like some spiritual magic to help you see things clearly or for you to change or the situation to change. So we have woman holding the heart, <clears throat> door to personal healing and happiness, and the fourth chakra. This is about unconditional love. Interesting. Unconditional love, opening up your heart to the collective in general. Yeah, following your heart, I feel. This, is, this whole situation or this time is about you leading with your heart. What are your desires and in, in your truths? Because that's what's going to open the door to something beautiful for you. Healing a job situation, healing a relationship, healing a career journey. Yeah. Okay, let's get into your cards. <clears throat> Sorry if you hear my cat screaming. That's what he does <laughs> all day long. Okay, Scorpio, we have the Fool, <clears throat> the Four of Cups, the World, Five of Swords, Ace of Cups, Page of Rods, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Rods, the Sun. 
And the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. This very much has a feeling, <clears throat> Scorpio, of you coming out of yourself. Out of being in your mind and being too logical. I feel like it's blocking your sense of magic in the universe and the world. Okay? Um, kind of living in that in-between space where you flow with your emotions and how you feel about things. Um, I feel like that's what's hurting you or that's what's going to hurt you is you not inviting that energy into your life more. Interesting. Okay. Scorpio, I, I feel as though you have done a lot. And you're ready for freedom and space. You don't want to be under the thumb of any sort of rule right now. You know, it's like, yeah, I've worked on things. I've been diligent. I just kind of want to do what I want to do. But I feel like you're dealing with an energy that doesn't see it that way. And you know that if you were to fully do that, you would lose out on an opportunity. Or lose out on a person, maybe, that you're dealing with. But it does look like you need a rest. Um... You're ready for something to conclude, you know? It's like overly helping someone or overly, overly, <laughs> over assisting someone to a point where you're kind of forgetting about yourself or your own happiness. Yeah, you've been through a lot, you know. It's almost like you've been in some sort of situation where you had to retaliate all the time. Or make sure that you were paying attention because you would be tricked or lied to or whatever. Um, but it's like I, always, I had to pay attention to this thing over and over and over again, right? Because I wanted to hold on to it. I feel like it's tiresome for you and you need a break, like an emotional break for a second. It's like you want to tell somebody, can you just handle this for a second while I do whatever or take some time to myself or figure things out. Not that you want to leave. It's just like you need a pause or something. In a conflict. Because you have to overthink a lot of things in your life, you know, like making sure things are right, making sure bills are paid, making sure the kids get to school on time. I feel like you haven't felt free to be yourself. There's a piece of you that's missing. I feel like this is bringing to your attention, Scorpio, that you need to look at a situation more, like your job. Are you really happy? Or your relationship? Am I really being fulfilled as a person while I'm in this relationship? This is like a really intense. But, you know, Scorpio, that's how y'all roll. So there's a change in a situation or a change in a, pers a person that you're dealing with and you're just riding the wave, okay? But it's getting to a point where the balancing is getting out of whack here 
and it has to come to an end. And you're doing this out of love and out of care. Not for a malicious reason, but you're like, let's, let's fix it in a real way. So then we have the Five of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Rods. Yeah, there's a lot of you trying to defend yourself in this reading um, from things falling apart. You know, it's almost like you can't get to someone. You, they don't, they're not understanding correctly. They can't see that you are doing things out of love and out of care in your way of doing them. I feel like you're trying to pretend, prevent a end from happening. This is giving me a conversation of, you know I love you. Look at all the things that I do. Why would you wanna leave? Hmm. Where is this going, Scorpio? Some of you may have found somebody new. Or thinking about finding someone new. You know, it's kind of like a, a door to freedom that you may have. By finding new love or going in a new direction. You think about this. But then there are times when your person or whoever this is will fight for you. Or it's a time that things in your career work out and then you're back in the same situation again. So you really don't know what it is that you want to do or what it is that's truly going to make you happy right now. I mean like what the final goal is. You don't know how to get there. Logically you can't figure it out, you know. Um, yeah, but you know that there needs to be a different direction and I feel like another direction is approaching, you know, uh, I feel like you're about to be rewarded and I know that sounds weird, but it's like when you take a step in a way that you wouldn't normally go. A door opens up for you. It's like someone sees your worth or someone sees that you, you were worth the time, that the weight is paying off. Yeah, and I feel like something new starts. But it starts from like a sacrifice through love, like care, like deep care. Mm. Okay, so then we have the Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Rods, and the Sun. Okay, so Scorpio, what I'm seeing is there's a lot of work that's going into your life um, in mid-May, okay? And all of this work and all of this time and effort you put in is about to pay off. It's just like you need to get through this hump. That's exactly what it looks like to me. There is success on the end. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of burden. I feel like you have to uncover things. Things are not as easily out in the open. You have to wait. But it comes in for you. Oh yeah, your hard work is paying off. Absolutely. 
You're about to have the job or the relationship of your dreams. The future of your dreams. This is telling me that don't don't be fooled in thinking that your happiness was how the past was. It's like you're getting over a threshold, whether this is in a relationship or a career or what, whatever is going on in your life, okay? But it's like you go through this dread threshold of realizing that things don't have to resemble the past. That is not what perfection is. You have changed as a person and it can be something different. And you can handle any changes. You might not like them. You might not want them. But you can handle them. Yeah, this is like a blessing in disguise to me. There's like a giant decision that you're going to have to make, Scorpio. <clears throat> but it's a good, it's a good opportunity. It's a good opportunity. Okay. So Lenormand, first we have the heart. See, opening up your heart, listening to your intuition. Doing something from the heart solely and not the mind. Yeah, it's bringing about a change you need. To lead you towards your wish fulfillment, but you have to take a risk. Yeah. It's a bit of a sacrifice, I feel, for you. I do. It's like, a, it's like you have to sacrifice a little bit of your pride. Not in a bad way, but in a good way, if that makes any sense. It's like you, you definitely tried to do what was right, and that is commendable. And you will get, re you are re being rewarded for that. But you have to let go and let spirit do what spirit does, you know? Chariot, yeah. See, charge ahead with confidence, stay strong and focused. I feel like things are moving your way. It's like once you get on the flow of where spirit is taking this and not fighting against it, you know, like letting things happen, letting situations unfold. I feel like it just, I don't know. Everything starts to go your way. Okay, so let me pick three journaling cards. Okay. Well, we got four. Okay. Am I putting enough or too much effort in my relationships? Do I feel empowered, happy, safe, loved, and able to pursue my personal and spiritual goals? That's a good one. That is a good one. What worries me most about the future? What do I really love in life and how can I have more of this? And in what ways is my self-acceptance conditional, dependent upon the validation of others, or specific achievements? Those are good questions for you. Excellent. So Scorpio, thank you for being here. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.